Wake up. What the hell happened to you guys last night? I don't remember. I left the party for one minute to go use the bathroom and you were all gone when I got back. I checked for Lowell and David in their rooms, but I don't know where they are. Nate, touch your hair. What? Just do it. What the hell happened to my hair? <laughs> Man, this is great. What do you mean, great? We have no idea what happened last night. Calm down, buddy. Just think for a second. How can I calm down? Anything could have happened. We could have all been raped! Stop it, Nate. You're never- we're never gonna figure this out unless you calm down. Now stop it. Just stop. No. Alright. Everything's okay. Just think. Wait. Aiden, you and I had class together yesterday. Man, I'm so excited for Professor Martin's class. I heard he's one of the best teachers in school. Eh, sounds okay. Well, excuse me, Princeton boy. Sorry, everyone, I grabbed the wrong folder. I'm Professor Martin. Oh. Princeton, class of 05. Shit. After the incident with Mr. Tom Woolberry last semester, the College Board of Academic Affairs has deemed my class to be, shall we say, detrimental to your college education. Rest assured, Mr. Woolberry would be back in the spring with full use of both his legs. So until then, I get to make up the entire course all by myself again. And since this is the philosophy of randomness, it only seems fit to ask completely random questions. So then, Mr. Ryan, which kind of chocolate is best? Uh, I guess I prefer milk chocolate? False! The answer is dark chocolate. <laughs> As I recall, it didn't get any better from there. And, oh, I don't know, Mr. Ryan again. What does that leave us with? Um, the corpse of Abraham Lincoln? Oh, so close! The answer, of course, was Africa. But I suppose if your name was John Wilkes Booth, that answer would be more <laughs> fitting. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, what's up with that girl? What about her? Do you know her? I've never seen her before in my life. She keeps looking back at me and smiling. Well, she's probably making fun of you. You did kind of make a fool of yourself. No, I think she was flirting with me. I'm gonna go ask her. That is a terrible idea. Hey, wait up! Oh, hi. Hi, my Aiden is Nate. I mean, my name is Aiden. I thought your name was John Wilkes Booth. No, I mean, that class is... Yeah, just... isn't Professor Martin brilliant? Brill... but br brill... I mean, yes, yeah. Hey, you wanna hang out sometime? Um, well, well, I am going to a Halloween party tonight if you're interested. Yeah, sure, I'd love to go with you. Okay, here's my number. And just meet me there. All right, see you then. What was that all about? I got a date for the Halloween party. Wait, I hated the Halloween party last year, but last year I didn't have a date. I need a costume. Well, that's not your biggest problem. You left before Professor Martin gave you your randomly assigned homework, so he randomly decided to give you an F. Nate, that had nothing to do with last night. 
I guess it didn't. Wasn't it awful, though? Yeah, wait, it was. Nate, we talked about it at dinner. Remember dinner? <laughs> I'm not going to believe the class we just had. Aiden pissed off the teacher before class even started. I didn't know he was the teacher. It was an honest mistake. Oh, well, you guys have it easy. Lola and I already have a huge project due Monday. And for your weekend assignment, I want all of you to observe intoxicated college students in their natural environment. The drunk college student is a beautiful creature, but one that must be observed with the utmost care, lest the observer desires a face full of vomit. Since tonight is Halloween, you should all have no trouble finding college students to observe. Class dismissed. I can't believe he'd assign us this huge project on Halloween weekend. It's ludicrous. We're gonna have to spend all weekend working on it. Are you kidding? It's Halloween! We have to go out! Lowell, don't you think you're a little old for trick-or-treating? No, I'm serious. We have to go to the Halloween party. It's tradition. What tradition? We've been here for one Halloween. And I am not going to the school's Halloween party again. Last year I got pushed down the steps, vomited on twice, and then Campo strip-searched me when they thought my bottle of pickle juice contained alcohol. It was brine! Well, there's a party at a junior's apartment. We could always go there. I'm thinking of dressing up as Professor Martin. <laughs> We could do our project there. Will they be drinking? It's a college party, so obviously. Well, your assignment sounds like a piece of cake. Professor Martin is making me close my eyes and randomly choose my dinner. Are you serious? Well, there's a reason I'm eating chicken with sprinkles on it. But I don't care, because I got a date tonight. You've already told us. You've been bragging about it for hours. It's the only reason I'm going to the party. I don't even like Halloween. Aiden's going to squeeze the mustard tonight. That doesn't make any sense. Shut up, Lowell. Everything after that is just a blur. I can't seem to remember the party at all. Me neither. We're gonna need some help. David? David? Don't even ask. Ask what? I know it's humiliating and despicable, but I mean, I lose consciousness for five minutes at that party and wake up with... With... With what? With this. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Yeah, I know. And the worst part is, I don't know who the perpetrator was. We're trying to remember what we did at the party. Do you remember anything? I remember a little, and it's all Lowell's fault. Yeah, where is Lowell? I don't know. I haven't seen him since the party, and he's not in his room. Can you remember anything? Well, yeah. Aiden kept going on and on about that girl he met. The way she smelled and etc. The pertinence of her- Oh man, I have to go get ready. Do you even know what you're gonna wear to the party yet? Shit, I have to figure that out too. Aiden, being Steve Jobs for Halloween is both ridiculous and offensive. I hate it too, but it's just for one night. I had to throw it together at the last minute. You really should be taking this more seriously. I spend months on this. Well, I think you're taking it a little too seriously. What are you supposed to be I'm again? Gabriel Van Helsing from the action horror movie with the same name. Seriously, guys. Well, you better be focused on the project tonight. Look at that asshole dressed like Dumbledore. Seriously, I'm tired of seeing Harry Potter stuff everywhere. The series ended like four years ago. Calm down, Aiden. Oh, hey, Lowell. David, how's your alcohol project going? Look, it's Frankenstein, Van Helsing's mortal enemy. Dude, I'm the Hulk. You're my arch nemesis is what you are. You better not cause any mischief. Look, Lowell, intoxicated post-pubescence. Our data collection begins. My name is Van Helsing. Hey, there's Callum.
Hey, nice costume. I love Harry Potter. Thanks. I like your Harry Potter glasses, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, what are you looking at? See that guy over there? The one dressed like a chimp? He's been entertaining everyone all night. He's been doing card tricks and reading people's palms. I mean, he's the life of the party. He's even got a brandy snifter. Isn't he so suave? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I love suave chips. Damn. I got one in the room. <laughs> he's even tied a cherry stem with his tongue. Yeah? Yeah. I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> This sucks, man. It's like she doesn't even know that I'm here. I'm sorry, but who wants a regular guy when they can have a suave chimp, am I right? Nate, you have to help me. I'm employing you as my wingman. The only way Callan is gonna pay attention to me is if all of my competition is gone. A very astute plan. I will see to it you're the only male here by the end of the night. I think I see a satiated subject over yonder who seems to have had a few too many. It's Von Helsing. You don't need to squint, he's right over there. Hey there! I'm doing a project for intro to alcohol studies. Damn, George got to him first. Foiled by my arch nemesis, Frankenstein's monster. He has taken from me what is rightfully mine for the last time. Or I will destroy that amalgamated creature once and for all. Maybe you are taking Halloween a little too seriously. David, you're Superman and I'm Ben Helsing. A superhero needs an arch nemesis. I guess you're right. Eh, it's too bad nobody came to the party dressed as Lex Luthor. <laughs> Every time we find a drunk person, George beats us to it. There's only one option left. Well, you know, we don't have time to drag him back to my room and drown him in the pickling vat. Besides, where would we hide the bottle? We get drunk. What are you talking about? Interview each other? We don't drink. Come on. Do you have another option? Tabasco shots. Let me cut right to the chase. I'm a wingman, and my friend is planning on squeezing the mustard tonight, if you get my drift. I'd appreciate if you would leave and stop attracting all the girls. <laughs> <laughs> all right, suave chimp. But I've got my eye on you. Oh, well, I can't do any more. My hands feel like meat. It's then so they'll sing. I already told you. Aren't we supposed to be interviewing each other? Oh, uh, let me get my notebook. After my 16th Tabasco shot, I don't remember anything else. That still doesn't explain why Lowell is missing. Or why my head is shaved. I don't think we're gonna find out much else until we find Lowell and ask him about it. Where could he possibly be? I know exactly what happened last night. Van Helsing finally vanquished his foe, Frankenstein. Lowell, where the hell have you been? I've been under the table the whole time. Really, guys? You haven't... Noticed me? I think I licked Nate's knee once. Accidentally. Skipping over that, we really need to know what happened at the party. It's driving us crazy. My epic tale begins around my 19th Tabasco shot. 
Van Helsing and his faithful sidekick Superman were trying to work on their homework, only to be repeatedly foiled by a dastardly foe. Fed up with Frankenstein's diabolical endeavors, Van Helsing decided to challenge Frankenstein to a final duel. Like the coward he is, Frankenstein fled the scene. Whoa! Why are you chasing me? I'm the Hulk! And Valiant Van Helsing began to pursue. Not satisfied yet, Van Helsing drew his weapon and struck a final blow to his fiendish foe. <laughs> Victorious Van Helsing returned to his kinsmen and was greeted with much jubilation. Lol, are you, are you doing okay? Your eyes are all out of focus. Hey, you've got Tabasco! I love this stuff! I need to go to the bathroom. And so, brave Van Helsing was able to conquer the forces of evil once and for all. The only problem is that Van Helsing and Superman got an F on their project several days later. Lol, you realize we didn't do any work last night. I know, we'll figure something out. Well, good thing you don't have Professor Martin. He'd go insane if someone forgot a project like that. Wait a minute. I think I remember what happened last night. Yes, it's coming back. All right, I give up. How do you do it? You've managed to attract every single girl at this party, including the girl I was supposed to be going out with. Please, tell me how you do it. I'm begging you. Question. P -p -p Professor Martin? Who do you think women would rather be with? A millionaire chimp or a 90s hipster? You want attention, but you can't always get what you want. And you just might find that sometimes you get, that's the Rolling Stones. I apologize. My point is, if you dress up like the love child of Steve Buscemi and Mitch McConnell, you're going to get the attention you deserve. Good night, Mr. Ryan. Could this night get any worse? Hey, Tabasco. That's why we couldn't remember anything. I'm starting to think Tabasco shots have a debilitating effect on short-term memory. I really feel bad for Lowell, then. Wait. What are you doing? Wait a minute, this still doesn't explain why my head is shaved. Soon, Superman's evil villain, Lex Luthor, will be born! Every, Every superhero, superhero needs, needs an arch nemesis. <laughs> I guess we'll never know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I guess not. I wonder what happened to Callan. She never called me this morning, and I hardly saw her at the party. Damn that Professor Martin, I really hate him. Hits.